I don't know. Did I do something wrong? You tell me because I'm not 100% sure. I'm not throwing this away. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. I recently came across a 75 day dry aged ribeye. Now I know dry age is all the rage. I've never had it personally. I hear a lot of people have, they really like it. I want to give it a try. But the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add some onions. I think it's some onions and some mushrooms. Just going to add extra flavor, right? Grill these onions up. Throw in some mushrooms. A little bit of salt. At this point, we just let it cook away. Now inside of this pan, I've got some olive oil and a little bit of butter in here. And that's what's taking care of business. So our onions and mushrooms have been cooking for about six minutes. I did have to turn it up to about 300 degrees. I'm gonna put some garlic in here. The reason being I'm putting the garlic in at the very end is because I don't want it to burn. But once I smell it, start opening up, that's when I'm gonna remove the onions and mushrooms and garlic from the heat. That didn't take very long at all, about one minute. Next thing we need to do is let's start on that steak, throw in our butter. We've got to let our butter melt down. I'm actually going to turn this up to about 340. Throw a wee bit of garlic in there. I'm loving that sound. The garlic opened up immediately there. I'm okay if the garlic sits in here a little longer. The steak's not going to be in here too long. All right, we're going to throw that steak down in there. Now I'm just using salt for this. I'm going to let it sit for about three minutes on each side. Meantime, I'm going to take that extra butter and I go like this to it. A couple sprigs of thyme in there, add a little extra flavor. And that thyme just opened up immediately. Wow. All right, we're going to give it about two and a half more minutes. We've got about 30 seconds left and while our steak's been in here the entire time, I just keep adding that garlic and butter over the top. Check that temp real quick. Right there, dead in the center, we're coming in at about 102 degrees. All right, let's flip it. Oh, that is a thing of beauty right there. Wow. And so for the next three minutes, I'm just gonna continue to go like this. The aroma in here is absolutely amazing. All right, we'll see you in about two and a half. Closing in on three minutes. I like it. All right, now I'm just gonna let this steak sit here and it's gonna rest for about 10 minutes. We let the steak rest 10 minutes. Now I think it's time to cut into it and take a look at it. What do you think? It looks really good. It's uh, not quite medium done, but I really wanna try this thing because it's very, very tender. You know, that's not bad. Uh, not my favorite, but it's not bad. Perhaps I did it wrong. I don't know. Very tender. Got good flavor to it. I just don't really notice any difference between this and, and a ribeye. Now, it could be because I'm inexperienced. Let's try some goodies with it. Yeah, it tastes like a normal ribeye to me. I don't know, did I do something wrong? You tell me, because I'm not 100% sure. I'm not throwing this away, don't get me wrong. It's really good. But, at the end of the day, I don't know, it's $26 a pound versus, you know, $7 a pound. I don't know. All right, there you have it. El Deuterino made a 75-day-old dry-aged ribeye. You be the judge. I, like I said, to me, I don't know. All right, we'll talk to you on the next episode. El Deuterino out.